Hey man, this was me right before the beta, just constantly checking, but iOS 14 developer beta three is here. Let's find out what's new in this video coming up. Let's go. <laughs> So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology. Welcome to the beta three video. This is the developer beta. So public beta should be coming sometime tomorrow. 45.2 gigabytes of storage used up. A lot of people have been having a storage bug here. Auto restarts as well for beta two. Let's go ahead now and see how much the update does take. So 696.9 megabytes for the iPhone 11 Pro here. This could be smaller depending if you have an older phone maybe a little bit bigger on something like the iPad, for example, or even the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Let me know the space it takes for you there. So we're just gonna go ahead and download and install this. There's no, you know, learn more features right here. So we're just gonna have to figure them out for ourselves. But you can see it contains bug fixes and improvements. We're still early on here, but let's go ahead and hit download and install and I'll be back when this is done. Okay guys, so we are now in iOS 14 developer beta three. Now, what do you notice? No real changes because the developer beta three is not gonna be a major release. We're still in very early stages of development. But if we go to iPhone storage, that's the first thing I wanna look at. And what do you know? We have a decrease in storage right off the bat. You've seen it said 45.2, I'm down to 39 gigs used. So maybe it looks like Apple's fixing up that storage bug where it would just show way too much storage used, gobbling up massive amounts of space on the phone so let me know what it shows when you do your update maybe it's only working on mine i don't know so let me know what you see but 39.7 we're still down quite a bit from 45.2 prior to the update now taking a closer look at the software version if i click that you can see we're on build number 18a 5332f so that's the build number for beta 3. so i'm noticing right away that there's these little splash screens now showing like a little preview of what you're going to do here refreshed widgets press and hold to reorganize them and put them in jiggle mode so there's going to be an easy way to see kind of how to do things here. It also showed it on the app library when I first swiped over. So keep that in mind, they're now starting to add some splash screens, it looks like, to beta three. And when holding down to edit home screens, you'll see that it did show me a little splash screen once again. So when you first get in to iOS 14 later this year, it'll give you easy ways with those splash screens to understand. Press the plus, the clock widget, yes, the clock widget is here. Also looks like we have a new music widget, if I'm not mistaken. Still a little bit of a bug right there, but man, I am so happy about this clock widget. I've been waiting for this one. And you can see, definitely have the world clocks going on. There's three right now, so that's pretty nice here for iOS 14 developer beta three. So it's nice to see we can finally get our clock widget on here. Okay, so you can see the music widget definitely looks a different color. You can see here's the public beta, which is basically beta two. And you can see it does have a different color there. So the music widget has changed here for the 14 beta three, pretty sweet. Now this one looks a little bit different as well. The notes folder. So if we go to notes here, you'll see there's just a bigger one here. So just a bigger one. And I'm sure down the line, you can see that the widgets are still not loading 100% properly. We should see a little bit of a preview of the text. So definitely a little bit different there. What about this maps widget? So maps looking pretty similar. And let's see what else is in here. Not only is that music different, it's a different color icon altogether. So that's pretty nice to see. Just a little bit of a change there. Now, if you look into listen, you'll see they changed the color of the music icon here as well. So the Apple music icon is now that red color, that reddish pink color right there so it's not just in the widgets it's also on the home screen a different color and the rest of it doesn't look too much different oh wow look at that bug right there wow i love that i caught that on camera because that just shows the instability of the ios beta wow did you see that wow anyway that just shows the instability of the beta especially the developer betas uh, public does it too but man did you see that icon looking like king kong over there but at the same time, you know, like the splash screens, the new widget, you can see that we do have the new music colored icon over here. Performance looking pretty similar. I mean, it's smooth iOS as always. A couple icons are gonna bug out like what you've seen. We still are seeing some widget issues. Let me go ahead now, punch into dark mode and see what happens over here. 
Uh, some people said they were having issues with the dark mode, like having issues with the widget showing when in dark mode. So they're doing just fine for me right now, um, but they might have an issue for you. Just let me know what you're seeing in terms of bugs and things you're noticing right away on this iOS 14 developer beta 3. Going to weather, you can see not a big deal of difference of change. So far, I went through most of the settings and I didn't find much. I might have missed something, but... I'm not seeing much on the surface. I'm not seeing very that much difference in wallpapers. We don't really have any different wallpapers. Um, I did notice on the 11 Pro, I'm, I might have missed this before, but I wasn't sure. Was it we were we always able to go into a zoom mode on the Pro? I thought that was only for the Max and like the 10R and the 11. I could be wrong, but let me know on that one. Punching in on this is pretty similar. Punching in on other applications, similar as well. So yeah, that clock widget, the music. All looking fine so let's go ahead now and just do a quick geekbench test before we get out of here i'm glad they fixed that storage problem that was the main one and i'm also pretty happy to see that clock widget but that amazon that amazon icon was pretty massive though hopefully i don't get many bugs like that but we'll keep you updated as the days go on i'll be back when geekbench is done and we'll give you the final scores of the performance for this one Okay guys, so my final scores are in at 1336 on the single, 3217 on the multi-core score. That's actually pretty good. A little bit better than the last score, I think, on the last beta. I did still performing great on the 11 Pro. I'm gonna look out for battery. Battery was doing excellent on beta two. Hopefully it stays that way for beta three. Give us your thoughts too on the battery life you've been having for this beta. Now, I was also having some crashes on Amazon Music. It's another application I use as well as Apple Music. And I noticed that just a few apps will just close out all the time. So I'm gonna be keeping an eye on that to see if Apple's getting, I'm gonna keep an eye on that to see if this is getting a little more stable or not. But let me know your thoughts on developer beta three. It's definitely a recommend if you're in the developer beta, you wanna keep going to the next one. It's just logical. And the public beta should be out tomorrow, but decreasing in storage really like that one thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you haven't already and enjoy the beta if you are running it i'll catch you all in the next episode be sure to be well nick here and peace